Hey guys, welcome back to the Plant Based Chow. I'm Holly, and today I'm pretty excited because we I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one of our favorite um, family recipes that we always eat. Um, and it was kind of like a big help at the very beginning of our transition, especially for the husband who really likes burgers. Um, so we're going to do we're going to do a veggie burger, and I got a lot of the things all prepped. My husband is making a ridiculous face behind the camera, so if I start cracking up, I'm sorry. And he's even got something in his teeth. Makes it all the more funnier. <laughs> anyway, so I've already prepped our rice and beans. Um, so here you see I have just regular brown rice. It's very sticky right now. Um, just made it in the rice cooker, but if you don't have a rice cooker, that's fine. You don't have to have one. You can make it on the stove. You don't need anything fancy. And then as far as the beans, um, I used canned black beans because it's just simpler that way. But if you like to cook your own beans then and um, prep a day before, then that's fine too. But canned beans are fine to use. Um, so to this, I put it in here and let it cool. So to this, we're going to add a lot of different ingredients. Well, not a lot, but they're all fun. All right, so this one right here, I don't know if any of you guys have ever um, heard of, now I got rice all over me. This is flaxseed, um, ground up flaxseed. So this, um, for vegans, is an egg replacer um, a lot of times. So um, when you mix like a tablespoon of this with a with two tablespoons of water and let it sit for about two to five minutes It kind of gets to that eggy consistency and so this is kind of our egg replacer It's gonna go in here. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this around and then um, Here in this one we have some barbecue sauce. Um, this is optional. I use um, try to use a, a high-grade um, organic um, barbecue sauce. I don't think this is one of those right now, but um, nonetheless, it's about two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. Um, my son actually hates barbecue sauce, and he never knows it's in there. Um, actually, the last time we made him was the first time he seen me put it in. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, it's, I've always done it. Okay, this is actually arrowroot powder. It's also two tablespoons. Um, if you do not have arrowroot powder, that's fine. You can actually use cornstarch as well. Um, arrowroot powder is just a little bit easier for the body to, to digest, first of all. And secondly, it um, is just a little bit overall more healthier because it doesn't come from GMO, extremely processed corn. So that's that. Here we have... Um, this can, you can use soy sauce or tamari sauce. Um, this is liquid aminos. Um, this is about a tablespoon or a little bit more. I just kind of eyeballed it to tell you the truth. And this is shredded carrot. This is actually about a half a cup of shredded carrot and I know it doesn't look like it because um, what I did is I squeezed out as much juice as I could because with these, you want to make sure and not get um, a bunch of wet ingredients in there because if you do, things are going to start falling apart and it's not going to be fun. You'll have really soft burgers, which I've made this recipe lots of times and it never turns out the same, never does, but they're always really good. Um, so even if they do come out on the soft side, they're still really, really good burgers. And then here, this is one beet. I just cut the beet up, see, beet? I cut it up, um, um, peeled it, cut it up into small pieces and boiled it just, just enough to get it soft enough to where when I put it in the food processor, it would um, blend up well. Um, and I also put two cloves of garlic in it. You do not have to food process this if you don't have one. Um, I did it because my kids are very finicky about Oh my God, we, they know there's a beet in it, but if it, there's a big chunk, then they freak out. So I try to get it as small as possible. And then it also helps get the garlic really um, chopped up as well. So with that said, all the ingredients, toss them into the bowl, and then this is the fun, messy part, right? 
use your hands. This is also a really good time to get the kids involved in the process. So you want to squeeze it through your fingers. You're kind of, you're not trying to like, there's the timer. You're not trying to um, smash up the beans all the way, but just kind of squish them and get them around in there. That timer is actually for our side dish that's gonna go along with these burgers, which are sweet potato fries. So I'll show you those in a moment. Um, I have some ready over here already. I'm having to do them in a couple of different stages because I have so many. So I'll show you a little, um, a new thing that I got that is awesome for cooking um, oil-free fries. So these are, um, this is good here, and you can see that's pretty, um, pretty dry, which is a good thing. We kind of want it a little dry so that it holds together well. So I'm just going to try and clean my hands off as much as possible at this point, and then I'll just rinse my hands and we'll get those uh, sweet potato fries out of the oven so that you guys can kind of take a look at those um, as they come out. So what I did with the sweet potatoes is I just, as you've seen, they're kind of cut into fry shapes. You don't have to cut yours into fry shapes. Um, you can cut them into circles if you want and make them look more like potato chips or just whatever. You can cut it any way you want. You just want to make sure that they're not too thick because if they're too thick, they tend not to cook as well. So, I'm gonna grab these out of the oven. I'm actually gonna grab it with my thicker one here. All right, so, come on over here. So this is um, the little mat that's on here. If you don't know what those are called, let's call a silpat. And if you don't have one, that's fine. You can use parchment paper uh, for these. But this is actually my very first time using this. Just bought it today, picked it up at our local grocery store, Meyer, for 20 bucks. And I'm really, really glad I did because these turned out awesome and they're great. So that's that. Um, now, to shape these things. Um, so as you see, I'm using a griddle. Um, love using my griddle over my stove just because it just seems like they just they don't stick as much as they do on the stove or anything like that so and I try to go um, been trying to go as oil free as possible so that really helps to have it on here instead of on the stove on the on the grill on the stove so I'm going to turn this up to about 350 so if you're doing it on the stove medium about medium heat um, now, as I said, oil free, um, but here's a little trick to, you just seen my hands be all messy from squeezing all this, and for sure they're going to get that way again once I start to try and roll up these out and patty them. Um, so what I do is I actually take a little bit of coconut oil in, a, um, in anything, and I just kind of dip my fingers in there and just put a very thin coat of oil over my hands so that it will just, it just won't stick as much. Um, so I'm going to start doing that now. And also, if you have time, you don't have to do this, but if you have time um, and you prepare these a little bit earlier than what you um, need them, um, set them in the refrigerator and let them firm up for a little while, about 30 minutes or so. That's always good too. But again, as you see here, I'm not going to do that today. So that's, you know, just a normal size patty there. And then you have a little bit of coconut oil from your hands on there to help with the sticking as well. So this will make, depending of course on how big you make your patties, um, I usually get about eight burgers, I think, out of this. Um, Sometimes a little less. Again, it just depends on how big you make it. So um, that's up to you and how thick you make it and everything. So 
So we'll just keep rolling these up. And then as far as toppings, it's just like any other burger. Um, uh, here I've um, created our platter already. So today I just um, chopped up some tomatoes, onions, and we have some sprouts there. Those are broccoli and cabbage sprouts. Um, in there I try to stay away from alfalfa sprouts because those tend to hold on to and um, eat the E. coli or some type of bacteria. I forget exactly what it was. Hey, I told you I'm not a professional, right? Just hear the stuff and research the stuff. We're getting a good sizzle going. beautiful. Um, our kids have nicknamed these burgers blood burgers, right? Because of the red, of course. They were, um, they thought that was the coolest thing ever when I first made them. They thought it was raw meat. One more, and of course, you know, since we're not dealing with raw meat or anything like that, um, these only take a couple minutes on each side, so you just um, want it enough to just brown them up a little bit on each side. Um, really, I guess it's up to you and on how brown you want them. So this was the first one I put on, so we can kind of slide quickly. Yeah, so I mean, just how you can see how it's a little brown into here, a little crispy or whatnot. So um, I'm actually, I you like them a little bit better than that. So I'm going to actually leave the rest of them for a little bit longer. While we're waiting on those, I'll uh, bring you back over here and take these off the still pad so you guys can see exactly like but not, they don't stick at all, whatsoever. Like, it just comes right off. Amazing. Like, I've been wanting one of these for a long time because I've seen it somewhere. And I thought, that's so cool. And finally, I just went ahead and picked one up today. And it's really good. So to make these sweet potato fries, you can cut them in any shape that you want. And um, the sweet potatoes obviously have water in them. So you don't need to put any oil on them for um, like salt or any type of seasoning or whatever you want to put on to stick. Um, so all I did, which you can see over here, was I took a bowl, plopped my sweet potatoes in, a little bit of salt, a little bit of paprika, I'm just eyeballing it here, you know, whatever you think you might want. And then just tossed it with my hands a bit. And then layer them in a single layer on the silpat or uh, parchment paper, whatever you're using. Um, don't use aluminum foil. They'll just stick to it and fall apart and it will be a mess. I've done that so many times. Parchment paper is the best if you can't have the sill pad. I even had experienced some sticking even with the um, parchment paper too, but not nearly as much. So that's it. And then uh, we can just put them into the oven. Go. And we put them in there for about 10 minutes and then take them out, flip them over and then stick them back in there for about 10 minutes more. Um, sorry, I'm always forgetting something on the other side of the kitchen. So these should be pretty good by now. Oh yeah, that's much better. Come on in and take a look at this. That's much better than that first one that we flipped, as you can see. So that's, that's better. So it should be good. And as you see, practically no sticking. 
and just such a small amount of oil, you know, just the what, whatever you had on your hands, and that's it. So, um, yeah, that's that. Okay, so just a um, couple more minutes on that side. Sure, you guys don't want to hang out and um, just stare at your screen. So, for now, we'll go ahead and I'll um, go ahead and close it out. And then I'll come back when we're all done and I have everything nicely plated for you guys to kind of take a look. All right? So I'll see you back in just a few seconds. Okay, guys, here it is. Um, just lastly, just plated. So we have the sweet potato fries and the veggie burger. Again, like I said, we just have lettuce, tomato, and um, sprouts on there. I also have a little bit of the vegan mayo that I've showed you guys before in one of my other videos. Um, and my husband also likes to put like barbecue sauce on there and things like that. So um, I hope you guys are able to try it and enjoy it. And if you do, please let me know what you think about it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe as well and share if you like the videos that's coming um, so that all your friends can watch them as well. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.